emotional. Our ability to notice how our emotions are either getting in our way or helping us thrive is critical to our resilience. Resilience is not being happy all the time. Emotions like anxiety, anger, or sadness can be very important in our ability to prepare, gain energy, and reach out to others. The art of resilience is being able to experience the right emotions at the right time. The month of March is really an opportunity to build back grit and resiliency. We've actually made it a campaign where not only is there messaging every day, there's also the deliberate intent for everyone to take a knee, pause, take some leave, take some weekends off, and really start to get back into that space that we all need to be in. And if we don't do that deliberately, we really are letting down ourselves, our teammates, but also our patients. And so I think it's extremely important that uh, you know, uh, you've provided the guidance of taking the whole month of March and focusing on rebuilding some of that grit and resiliency uh, and encouraging our leaders at Echelon uh, to allow some time off uh, you know, for all of their team. Uh, you know, using the appropriate rules of engagement for Army, for Air Force, for GS employees and contractors, of course, uh, but also doing some activities that can help be rebuild that resiliency. Our uh, public affairs team, you know, I've published a calendar in conjunction with some of our uh, staff to put together daily activities uh, that I highly encourage leaders at Echelon to get your people to do. And we've done some other things. Some other companies have actually gone out and done some axe throwing events just to, to make sure they were building some morale, uh, clearly not hurting each other. We didn't want to bring them into the trauma yard uh, here at Bamsey. Uh, other folks have gone bowling. Uh, next week we're going to engage with the Vogel Center. Uh, we've asked them to give us a couple programs that again we can do at the command level for us and really just take two or three hours off, go over there and do some yoga, some other things to just sort of rebuild our, our grit and resiliency. And you know, your barn sessions where you're doing physical fitness, uh, you know, every Thursday with the small team setting, uh, positive feedback from that, that helps build resiliency. You know, so just another example of something that you can do with your team. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a barn PT session, you know, where you're doing something like that. You could just do a walk, uh, but something uh, where you, you get your team together to build some camaraderie. Yeah, and really just pay attention to our internet and then our other social media platforms because we really are putting a lot of information out there. Uh, the chaplains have a program coming up. We have another thank you event coming up. Uh, there's lots of areas that you can engage, but really from our standpoint, we think that's it's that first line supervisor. So to get out there, build those relationships, we're gonna have folks over to my house uh, one of these weekends just to sort of sit down, break bread, and just say thank you because because we, we just, we're all working really hard uh, and, and that opportunity to say thank you is so incredibly important. Most importantly, thank everybody on Team Bamsey for what you do every day. You truly are appreciated and everyone is extremely important to the success of our mission. Yeah, everything you do truly is relevant. We really do appreciate what you do. We, we, we at our level don't say this enough, uh, but we, we're thrilled to be here each and every day. Uh, we love to come to work because it's people like you uh, that make us successful, so thank you.